My name is Rainer Göbel. I'm a cognitive and computational neuroscientist working as a professor at Maastricht University in the Netherlands. I'm leading the science work package three, Adaptive Networks for Cognitive Architectures, that operates at the interface of neuroscience, AI, neuromorphic computing, and neurorobotics. My name is Sasha van Obada. Uh, I'm a computational neuroscientist uh, working at the Ulich Research Center and the University of Cologne in Germany. I'm a junior professor there, and I'm a deputy leader of Work Package 3 on brain-inspired cognitive architectures in the Human Brain Project. My focus area, brain-inspired cognitive architectures, is about improving our understanding of how brain networks enable visual motor and cognitive functions. We believe that for a better understanding of the function of specialized brain networks, it is useful to adopt an embodied, action-oriented approach. And that is why we embed our brain models in virtual and real robots. We also develop new learning rules to train modules of our cognitive architectures in biologically plausible ways. We are developing models of various brain regions, running in uh, simulators uh, on conventional um, high-performance computers, but also on neuromorphic hardware and in neurorobotics. Our brain-inspired cognitive architectures can already perform a variety of sensory motor and cognitive functions, such as performing goal-directed eye movements, navigation in rich environments, predictive processing, and relational reasoning. Three examples are a virtual robotic setup mimicking dexterous manipulation, an architecture performing visual scene recognition, and a so-called cobotic setup, showing how a human and a robot may work together. We also have rich diversity of novel brain-inspired learning rules for cognitive architectures. We see already that some of our models and learning algorithms are taken up by other researchers outside HPP, and we expect that in the future our general cognitive architectural framework will accelerate the development of brain-derived models in research and industry. And importantly, insights obtained from modeling and simulation are already leading to novel hypotheses about brain function that are started to be tested using neural recordings and brain imaging techniques. Through our model development, we also wanted to contribute to eBrains by providing test cases for its simulation software and hardware systems, exposing requirements for functionality and efficiency. The role of eBrains in our work was essential in many aspects. First, training and running our large-scale multi-area brain models requires huge amount of compute power. And the advanced high-performance computing facilities offered by eBrains were thus essential to run our complex and large models. Furthermore, since our brain models are often embodied in robots, the access to the new robotics platform was essential for a large part of our work. Additionally important were the brain atlases, because the models we built were constructed and constrained by knowledge about brain areas and connection patterns between these areas. Neuroscientifically, we have provided examples of how biological realism can be brought together with network function, a problem that has so far been rather underexplored. We have also made a contribution toward opening up computational neuroscience so that we can build more easily on each other's work and start to approach the level of complexity needed for understanding the human brain.